Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Once again, I'm at the beautiful Texas Hill Country town of Garden Ridge, Texas, on the northeast part of the greater San Antonio area. And I'm out here one of these brand new communities, Hymer Estates. Now, this community can be a chess bar homes only community featuring half acres or three quarter acres. And you guys, you know, if I'm You've been watching my channel for a while. I absolutely love Chess Marshall. I'm super excited about this. Their brand new model, it's a Raven plan, just opened up. So yeah, let's go check it out. This model is absolutely gorgeous, and so is this area. Tons of oak trees, very quiet. This is not gonna be a large mega neighborhood like Vintage Oaks at all. This can be a very quiet neighborhood. Great schools, Comel ISD. Property tax rate is right at 2%. Uh, the other community, Enchanted Bluff, is just right across the street here. But yeah, super excited. I love the community of Garden Ridge. Um, they just haven't had a lot of new communities come in and all of a sudden now we've got two. So if you're looking for something on the northeast part of the San Antonio area and in the Texas Hill Country, you've got to come out and check out these communities. Now, before we go inside, I do want to talk about the location. Uh, this is right off Bat Cave Road because, yes, there is a really big bat cave uh, not far from here. Don't let that freak you out. They're really good bats to have around, help keep the bug population down. But for my retired military viewers, you are just a 10-minute drive to the Church Medical Clinic off of I-35, which I go to and absolutely love. The HEB grocery store is right there as well, as long as all of like your junk food restaurants, the Lowe's, everything is just 10 minutes from here into the Shirts area. But if you wanna to go to the San Antonio area, just take a uh, right on 2252, and it kicks you out by Rolling Oaks Mall and 1604. So you can get to really everything you want to be at without getting on 35, which is really important. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now, I got to point out with this Anthony plan, check out this front patio. I mean, what's the point of living in a community that's got all these gorgeous oak trees if you don't have a good patio to sit on in the front? Well, it depends on what time of day it is based on the location of the sun. But this is a huge front patio. All right, let's go through these gorgeous doors. Now, this is a model home, so with the caveat, I gotta put in, Chessmar has put every bell and whistle they can to showcase what they can do with this house. Remember, this is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, three car garage home. This is the office right when you come in. And I love the tall ceilings. Put those beams in, that would be a little extra but there's enough people around here that know how to do that. This would be your view from uh, behind a desk here. So you'd have view out the window and the door. And this door here comes in from the garage. Now, okay, this wall, this space does. I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be a door here going to the garage. We have to ask the sales rep. But chest bar, one of the things they like to do to save money is they convert the garage or the model home into their uh, design center. So this is a full three car garage, but obviously it won't look like a design center. And I don't know if this door would be there, but these French doors would be here going into this really cool kitchen area. But wow, look at this kitchen and living space. Just so much detail put in here. Beautiful beams, beautiful fireplace. And yeah, this is the entryway. We kind of just skipped over that. But really nice entryway, but beautiful home. And y'all know I love Chessmar as a builder. They do such a good job. Uh, anytime I've had a client that bought a Chessmar home, I always recommend getting a home inspection, but they always come back really, really clean. But I do like the fact they got extra counter space. I'm sure these cabinets are a little bit of an upgrade going all the way to the top. I know this waterfall quartz uh, counter uh, island, that's definitely an upgrade. But a lot of things about this home aren't upgrades. This is a gas community, so natural gas comes with it. But yeah, here is your view from the sink. Nice single basin sink. I love how it just lines up perfectly with everything else in this house. Really nice. All right, we got your formal dining room located over here. Really good space, so if you're hosting something, plenty of room for all of that. 
another tree ceiling top. All right, let's go on outside. Oh, that door is locked. So let's just go right around here. As I'm filming it, it is February in uh, mid-February and in Texas, that's springtime and it is absolutely gorgeous out here. It's 65, 70 degrees. Something about Chesmar in this community, you get to choose one fireplace come standard. So you will get to choose if you want your fireplace on the inside or outside. It's really neat. And because of this Anthony plan, it has doors going into this little game room section over here. We'll get to there in a little bit. But this whole big covered patio comes standard. Not really the stamping, that's a little extra. Um, in this community, you have a choice between half acre lots and three quarters acre lots. This is a half acre lot and you can see, uh, it's hard to tell where it goes back there. It goes back to the fence over there and kind of where the grass goes and it goes all the way back there. So lots and lots of beautiful oak trees, very quiet community. But the backyards, even on a half acre, plenty of space to do whatever you want. It is on septic. Don't let that freak you out. It's pretty easy to maintain the uh, aerobic se se can't talk anymore. Aerobic septic systems nowadays. All right, let's go check out these bedrooms. Remember, this is a four bedroom house. Let's go to the guest bedroom first. I love the fact that these countertops wrap all the way around and are everywhere. All right, so this definitely would be the door coming in from the garage because you got the mud room right here. And you will also have a powder room located right when you come in from the garage. This is the guest bedroom. The reason I say this ideal guest bedroom is it's separated from everybody else. Plenty of space in this room and it has its own full bathroom. So if you've got in-laws or family friends coming to stay with you for a while, they can do all their getting ready in the morning without ever coming to disturb you at all. And a really excellent little mini walk-in closet right here. Very nice, so definitely perfect for your longer term guest room. Laundry room's gonna be located on this side of the house as well. Decent sized laundry room. Love the fact they got a window up there. All right, now coming back into the main living space. Don't wanna forget the pantry. So yes, the pantry is right over here. Kind of right in between the office and the kitchen. And that's a good sized pantry. Plenty of space to store all the food you need to store in. All right, we do have two more bedrooms over in this corner. I just, <clears throat> Ooh, almost missed this one. This is the game room that I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> Pardon me. So this could be game room, flex room, do whatever you want to with this room. I love the finish outs they put on here with this little uh, little piece of wood and paint it all. Looks really great. But I do also love the fact that you've got walk outdoors to your patio space. So very cool. I'm loving this Anthony plan by Chessmar. Um, in this community, you're gonna have uh, a lot of Chessmar's top highest end plans like the Bethany, uh, Anthony, um, Rockwell. I know I've done a video of the Rockwell on here. But yeah, here's the other two bedrooms. Once again, tall ceilings and by the way, eight foot doors all throughout this house. Plenty of space in this bedroom with yet another little mini walk-in closet. Both these bedrooms are going to have their own sink, but they will share the toilet and the shower tub combination. A little linen closet there. And then coming into this bedroom, once again, their own sink, their own mini walk-in closet, and plenty of space for everything uh, someone needs in a secondary bedroom. Very light, nice layout, very 
compact, I guess, and just s simple. Like I said, in the, if you got kiddos in there, they can come into this room, beat each other up, or play video games, and then just keep uh, the adults doing adult things in here. But I love the location of the community. I love Chessmar as a builder. I can't talk highly enough of them. But let's go into the master bedroom. Hope you're still with me. But yeah, this is uh, this master bedroom. The bathroom has something I really, really like. And I wish more builders did that. But wow, gorgeous room, lots and lots of natural light. And if you're in a community like this in Garden Ridge, you want to be able to see out. The brick is a nice little facade they put up. But check out this bathroom. This bathroom has a wet room in it. Not just a shower, not just the bathtub by itself, but the whole room is a wet room. And that does come stay. Now, before we go inside, I do want to talk about the location. Uh, this is right off Bat Cave Road, because yes, there is a really big bat cave uh, not far from here. Don't let that freak you out. They're really good bats to have around, help keep the bug population down. But for my retired military viewers, you are just a 10 minute drive to the Search Medical Clinic off of I-35, which I go to and absolutely love. That H-E-B grocery store is right there as well. As long as all of like your junk food restaurants, the Lowe's, everything is just 10 minutes from here into the Search area. But if you wanna to go to the San Antonio area, just take a uh, right on 2252 and it kicks you out by Rolling Oaks Mall and 1604. So you can get to really everything you want to be at without getting on 35, which is really important. All right, let's head on inside with this Anthony plan. Oh no, I said Anthony. This is a Raven plan. This Raven plan here, sorry about that. This is a Raven, but lots and lots of natural light in here. But uh, the tile, I think they've got upgraded tile in here, but the mud inset, wet room area, it is all standard. Along with the freestanding tub in this Raven plan. Just absolutely beautiful. Love the way they did this bathroom. And a really good sized master closet. You kind of got a his and her side. They get a little off-season rack. We just talked to some folks who are coming here, uh, making their plans to come here, but they're coming from like Washington State. And yeah, once you get here, those some of those heavier coats, yeah, they go up there because it doesn't get too cold here. Plenty of places for your shoes or boot rack. So yeah, definitely like this uh, bathroom area. And I, I can't say how much I love this wet room area concept. And these really big windows. But yes, if you're coming out here and you want to be on the northeast part and also still of the greater San Antonio area, but still be in the very quiet Texas Hill Country with easy access to, like I said, the shopping, everything just 10 minutes away from here. So that gives you, opens the world to you, but you can come out to your home retreat and have plenty of space to build your outdoor oasis if you wanted to. Um, like I said, tax rates 2%. Uh, as of early February, I believe the base price of this house to include the land is about 950, I believe. But prices change over time. All right, that's gonna do it for the tour of this brand new model home built by Chessmar. This is the Raven plan, just over 3,200 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, three car garage. I am a real estate agent. I do these videos to help people get familiar with the Texas Hill Country and the different builders. And if you see value into what I'm doing, and if you're not already working real estate agent, please reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen. It costs you nothing to use a real estate agent to buy, purchase any of these houses I'm videoing. So don't hesitate to do that. But if you already got a real estate agent, please stick with them. All right, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and of course, share these videos with any friends and family you know that might be considering moving to the area. I'll be happy to help. All right, take care now. Bye.